Guys, I just made a huge update to my passive income DeFi app, and it's able to earn more money than it was before. And in this video, I'm going to break down, you know, how it works, how I was able to increase the profitability, and I'm also going to get this app away. So make sure you watch till the end of the video to find out how you can get it. So before we get into that, you know, if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And don't forget, the DeFi Masterclass is next week on Wednesday, August 19th. Sign up with the link down below to hold your spot today. So let me tell you how this passive income app works, okay? And this video is an update from a video I did last week where I talked about this app the first time. So you can go check that out if you want the full explanation. But basically, the whole impetus was this. I've been watching this DeFi space for a long time, and I've been thinking like, hey, is there a way for developers to get in on this action and you know leverage their coding skills to create an app that earns passive income? And yes, you can. So many people have gone crazy over DeFi, especially with this yield farming trend, okay? And that's basically where you can earn you know, really high interest rates, maybe like 20 to 100%. And as a developer, you have a big advantage in this space because you can do things that normal people can't do uh, to increase the profitability of using these DeFi apps. And that's exactly what the V2 of my passive income app does. It's actually more profitable than the first app. I'm gonna tell you why. But before I show you, like, don't forget, like, when you earn these high interest rates, it might sound too good to be true. That's because there are significant risks involved. I'm going to outline those uh, in detail later in this video, okay? And this is not financial advice. I'm not telling you to do this, right? I'm just going to show you how it works. So my app uses the Compound Protocol, okay? This is a savings and lending app where you can earn, you know, interest by depositing money into the app and also borrowing it. And whenever you supply money to the app, you know, you also earn uh, comp tokens, which are Compound Finance's own, uh, you know, cryptocurrency. And this is an incentive reward for people to basically use the app and also distribute their cryptocurrency. So the cool thing about Comp is it's a blockchain-based application, you know, it's a DeFi application. So, you know, behind the scenes, there are some smart contracts that live on the blockchain that govern how this thing works, okay? So basically, uh, you can write your own custom smart contracts that interact with this app and do things that you can't do through the UI. So for example, you know, in my first V1 of the app, I supply DAI and then turn around and borrow DAI um, and start earning both comp tokens for supplying and also borrowing. So for example, I could put, you know, 100 DAI into comp and, you know, earn comp tokens for doing that. And then I can also, uh, you know, borrow 70 DAI back again from comp. And then I also earn compound tokens for doing that. And so for V2, I was thinking, how could I actually earn more tokens for doing this? Well, you can do that with flash loans. And you can actually multiply the amount of uh, cryptocurrency that you put into the app for doing this. So let me explain how that works. So what is a flash loan? Well, basically, it's where you can borrow millions of dollars in cryptocurrency with zero money down, okay? As long as you pay it back in the same transaction. So it looks like this. Basically, I could borrow a million dollars plus, all right, go do something with that million dollars and then just instantly pay it back for a really small fee. And this is a brand new concept in blockchain that's pretty powerful. And you can do a lot of different stuff with it, right? You can do arbitrage trading. You can use them for DeFi liquidations. And also here... You can use them as leverage for yield farming. So here's how you can use flash loans to make this more profitable. So let's go back to that last example where I put 100 die in, right? And then I turned around and borrowed 70 die. So let's just look at the ratio here. So this is 70% of my initial deposit, right? I could just, you know, take this back out. But here's where you can use flash loans. So you, basically, you know, you could take out a flash loan for 70 die and then only provide 30 of your own die. Or if you're already going to uh, supply 100 die, you could multiply the amount of exposure to make it more profitable. So here's how that would work. So if you look at the ratio here, this is 70% and this is 100%. Uh, well, basically, you can try to figure out what your new total amount is like this. Basically, 100, if you want to put it in, you know that your principal is going to be 30% of the total deposit, right? Because 70 is going to come back out from a loan. So basically, you can say 100 divided by 0.3. All right, so instead of a flash loan is going to allow you to put in 333 die. So it looks like this, basically. Uh, you basically put in uh, 100 die yourself, all right, to a, to a smart contract. And then you take out a flash loan for, let's see here, for 233, all right? And then that becomes the 333. And then you're able to put 333 die into comp. And then instantly in the same transaction, okay, you pay back the 233 die, all right? And then now you are um, 
And then in the same transaction, you borrow the 233 die from the platform, okay, from comp, and then you pay back the flash loan, okay? And then now, uh, you know, your entire 100 die is still inside of comp, but you have exposure to uh, 333 die and you use 233 die to, uh, you know, multiply that. So let's use a calculator to see how that plays out, okay? So uh, here's your predictions.exchange, which basically helps you calculate your yield farming returns. So if you're going to use 100 of your own dollars to do this, right, like 100 die, um, you know, you could just put 100 die in, all right, and just, you know, not borrow any. That's the simple strategy that you could use through the app, all right, and say calculate my annual comp distribution, okay, and you net 10.5% APY, okay? Now you can go to the V1 strategy where... Um, you know, I say turn around and borrow 70. All right. So that will actually net you smaller APY, but you're getting paid out more in comp tokens than you would, uh, you know, the other way. So if I say zero here, you actually earn less comp tokens. So if you're speculating on the price of comp and you expect it to go up, that may be less favorable. But here's where you earn more net APY overall. Okay. So basically, it's by using levers of flash loans. So if you're going to use your own money and you can inc increase your exposure by 300 up to 333 instead of 100, all right, and then you turn around and pay back the loan of 233, okay, and calculate your an com annual comp distribution, you're earning 6.85%, right, APY on this. But if you uh, compare that against the actual principle that you put in there, you know, it's leveraged yields, 39.67, all right, divided by 100, all right? So instead of these like, you know, 6 to 10% APY, you're earning more like 40% APY. And you earn even more over the long term if the value of comp increases. And you can only do that with uh, the flash loans and the leverage that I'm talking about here. All right, now let's talk about the risks, okay? Because like I said earlier, you know, if this sounds too good to be true, that's because there are real things you need to watch out for here, okay? So the first risk is liquidation. So I'll show you how that can happen. Basically, if you supply a die at 4.36%, so 100, right, uh, times 0.0434, okay, right, you're earning $4.34 annually, right? But if you if you borrow it at 5.65%, you might say, oh, that interest rate's higher uh, than this one, but you have to multiply it times 0.7, or, or yeah, basically, you're only doing it on 70 die, because let's say you borrow 70, all right, so 70 times 5.65, okay, or by 100, all right, so that would be uh, 3.95, which is still less than the amount that you're earning. So you're still in the clear, all right, for the first year, assuming that the interest rates don't change, okay? So um, after that, though, as soon as you keep, you know, accumulating this debt, all right, or this interest rate increases... Uh, if you start to reach 75% of your actual uh, deposit, right, if you if you cross uh, the collateralization factor, which is 75% on comp, it can start eating into your uh, collateral. And when that happens, you can get liquidated and lose your money. And so in order to mitigate that risk, you know, you could use less leverage instead of turning out and borrowing 70%, you could do 50%, you know, 25%, whatever. And of course, you know, don't put any money into this kind of thing that you can't afford to lose yourself. And the other big risks are smart contract risks, basically. So the smart contract that you create to do this might have a vulnerability in it where you could lose money or the smart contracts that power the compound protocol. No, those also might have some sort of vulnerability. And so now I want to address a couple of concerns that came up in the last video when I first talked about this app. Okay. So some people say like, Hey, is this sustainable? So if you're able to supply, uh, you know, money to compound, then turn around and borrow it and basically make a profit by doing that, how is it sustainable? Like, why wouldn't comp just totally bleed out? Well, there's a few reasons. I mean, first, the entire uh, pool of dye is so big that not enough people are going to be doing it in order to actually drain it to where a compound would take a significant hit. Uh, and also, Compound really is doing this to distribute their own token. So they're getting a lot more value by people getting their tokens in their hands, using their platform and doing this. Which brings me to the next question, is this illegal or unethical? Because some people were talking about that in the comment section of the last video. So no, it's not. So like I said a second ago, you know, Compound's main objectives are basically to get people using their protocol and then also to distribute their token. So they're getting a lot more return, even if people are able to make tiny profits uh, in the interest spread here. 
And I've also personally been inside the compound discord servers and like been in the developer chats where people are talking about this kind of thing. So it's not like comp is clueless about this kind of thing. They know people are doing this and they're not stopping them. All right. So that's an overview of how the V2 of my passive income app works. Basically it uses the compound protocol. It takes a little bit of my own money and uses a flash loan to increase the amount of money that I have to start earning passive income with comp tokens that I can just swap out for, you know, US dollars uh, on a decentralized exchange if I want to. Make sure you sign up for the DeFi Masterclass. There's a link down below. All right. I'm going to go in depth on all these topics, explain how these trends work, explain how people are using these protocols and how you can get a competitive edge as a developer. And then I'm just going to give this app away. I'll show you how to set it up and use it and also how to avoid like any risks. All right. But you need to act soon because that's coming up on Wednesday, August 19th. So make sure you sign up with the link down below. All right. So that's all I've got. As always, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. And if you don't want to wait around for the masterclass, you want to just, you know, get a head start and start learning blockchain today. Like, how can you do that? Well, head on over to my YouTube homepage. You can find any of my free courses there. They're basically like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. You know, you can just pick one and get started right now. And if you like those and want to take the next step, or hey, maybe you want to take a master shortcut entirely, then I can show you how to master blockchain step by step from start to finish. You know, build your own real world DeFi application. Head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. All right, so that's all I've got. And until next time, thanks for watching DAP University.